Good morning Periscopers. I'm just going to do a very, very quick scope this morning um, because I've got quite a lot of chores to get on with today. It's just quickly talking about how we define healthy. A lot of people have different interpretations of what healthy is and to me it's a combination of physical health and mental health. So concentrating just on one aspect can negate the other side. So for example, if you become obsessive about physical health to the point that um, it's affecting your um, your mental health, you know, you're obsessing about the micro detail of the food that you're eating and getting into um, you know, the micro detail of making sure you, you train and everything. Uh, what do I say you don't understand? I'm speaking English. I am English. So if you don't understand English, bye bye. I don't speak any other language except English. So I've just done my workout this morning. I've done a shoulder workout followed by some yoga. Now, if I wake up in the morning and I really, really, really don't feel in the mood for training and, um, I want to uh, do something else, I would make a decision, I would make a trade-off and think, you know, is it worth training today or shall I do something else with my time? There seems to be a lot of nutters in today, let me just block all these nutters, hang on. Okay, if, if anyone says anything inappropriate, you're getting blocked, you're not getting a warning. Okay, hello, hello everyone. So, I think ha the definition of healthy is basically not being obsessive about the micro detail of your training and your nutrition and being balanced and moderate. So keeping healthy, keeping active, teaching your kids to be healthy and active too um, and having a, an equal balance in that. So um, if you do miss a training session, you don't uh, beat yourself up over it, you don't um, get into a negative cycle for missing training sessions, um, but you also don't flip on the other side of saying, oh, well, sod it, I'm not going to train at all, and, um, you know, sort of giving up. So, like, today, I really didn't feel 100% up for training, um, but I gave it my best shot. I probably didn't have the best training session that I would have had, um, but... I still did it, I went through the motions, I did the best I could for the, the day that I'm feeling, for the um, emotions that I'm feeling today, and I'm just going to make sure that my nutrition stays on track without going overboard. I'm not going to be measuring out the micro amounts um, of the foods, and people who do do that, who measure out their food and track everything down to the gram, tend to be fitness professionals who are doing that for a reason, they're training for a sporting event or a competitive show. And if that is something that you don't do, if you are just living an everyday life and you want to be fit and healthy, there is absolutely no reason to go into that micro detail of weighing out your food. As long as you have a rough idea of what you're eating, which initially you might have to start weighing out your food to give yourself a rough idea, then once you've done that, there's no need to keep going through that um, intricate detail with your nutrition because it can drive you potty. And then you go out for a meal at a restaurant and you're starting to think, oh my God, what's the dressing on this? I need to know exactly the micro detail. Just enjoy your life, but also be balanced in uh, the choices that you make in your life. Um, so you need to keep on track with what you eat and how many calories you consume. Yeah, I mean, I do keep on track, roughly. I don't weigh it, I don't measure it, but because mentally now I know roughly how much is 20 grams of protein in chicken by sight, I can create a meal for myself without having to weigh out the individual amounts of food. Um, so I... I have an understanding uh, so if you are disconnected in that respect you're not connected with being able to view amounts of food and know exactly what that is um, then um, basically you you're going through the process of you know for a few days weighing out your food so you know exactly um, what you're eating will give you an, a, an insight into knowing amounts and knowing how to eat and knowing how to eat a balanced diet. Now I do have a, a free nutritional guide ebook which the link to that is on my uh, Twitter page. I wrote that um, for the company who I uh, write for which is Protein Lifestyle. Uh, the link to that's on my Twitter page which is at genbull13 so if you want to head over onto Twitter, there's a link in my uh, profile description for the free ebook. 
and you can download that and there's different plans depending on what your goal is whether it's fat loss or whether you want to gain a bit of muscle um, so you can choose your your plan suited to you um, in that ebook so you can download that and if you have any questions you can tweet me uh, and I'll quite happily answer any questions that you have there is also a training plan with that now I'm not a qualified PT um, but um, a friend of mine Simon Chivers who is also um, uh, sponsored by Protein Lifestyle he is a, a fully qualified PT and he wrote a training plan to go alongside the nutrition plan that I wrote have I ever considered going vegan no I wouldn't go vegan I don't have any morality issues with eating animal produce and um, Based on the information that I've read and the uh, education that I've had, I don't believe vegan to be the healthiest diet. I think we do need uh, animal sources of protein in our diet, whether that be eggs, milk, cheese, or actual, you know, pieces of meat. I I do believe we need animal protein in my in our diet, and because I don't have an issue with um, eating something that's been alive, then I will continue to do that. So, does anyone have any questions for me before I quickly end it? Anything at all? No? Thank you for the lovely hearts. If you are watching on replay and you like what I have to say, you can still tap the screen to give me hearts. Sorry, it's a bit of a mash of information this morning. It's probably not very structured. Um, but I'm wanting to keep on top and staying connected with your lovely people on Periscope on a regular basis. So I do try to do one uh, Periscope broadcast uh, Monday to Friday uh, in the morning just after I finish my training. So if I look a bit sweaty, because I've just done my training so apologies for my sweaty face um, thank you for joining me if you want to follow me on Twitter as I said it's at Jemble13 I'm also on Facebook I have a Facebook group which is Jennifer Bullcock Healthy Lifestyle Motivator and Mum of Three hi from uh, Los Angeles I also recently appeared on uh, John Burke's podcast uh, talking about um, the junk food society that we're in and how to raise our children appropriately within that society. Uh, where am I from? I'm from South Yorkshire in England. So if you want to check that out, there's also a link to that on my Facebook page and on my Twitter account. You can find the link to that podcast, which is on iTunes. So stay connected with me you can follow me on twitter i'm also on instagram as well at jemble13 and my facebook page which is jennifer bullcock healthy lifestyle motivator and mum of three thank you very much bye